While the occupiers are shooting Ukrainian prisoners, Russia is not taking back its seriously wounded soldiers, although Kiev is ready to give them up even without an exchange. As Mazem Explain writes, Russia is not seeking to return its seriously wounded citizens who were captured by the Ukrainian armed forces. According to Irina Krinina, a representative of the Ukrainian public movement, I want to find, Ukraine is ready to give up such people even without exchanging them for its own prisoners. All that is needed for this is a request from the Russian side, Krinina told the stories of two prisoners. One of them is 39-year-old Ivan Semenov, a resident of the Oryol region who lost his right arm in the war. The second is Tajik citizen Tolib Egamberdiev, who signed a contract with the Russian Defense Ministry in the Oryol region and was captured on March the 29th. Egamberdiev has a complex ankle fracture that is healing poorly. At the end of July, Semenov's wife got an appointment with the governor of the Oryol region, member of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Russian Federation, Andriy Klitschov, and Krinina organized a video call with him for the prisoners. Both men asked for assistance in their return to Russia. Klitschov promised to see what can be done and hung up. The conversation with the prisoners is not mentioned in the governor's official social media accounts, the publication says. As Semenov's wife confirmed, 40 days after this conversation, her husband still remains in Ukraine. The woman declined to comment in detail. According to Krinina, Egamberdiev also remains in captivity. Since the end of May, Russia and Ukraine have conducted four prisoner exchanges. The last one took place on August the 24th. It included 115 conscripts captured in the Kursk region. According to Krinina, not all conscripts were exchanged. There are several hundred of them in Ukrainian captivity. According to her, the families of some soldiers have been unable to obtain prisoner of war status for them for years. It is necessary for inclusion in the exchange lists. The media writes, Let us recall that Russian conscripts who were captured in the Kursk region are F, are not forced to work, are allowed to play board games and are fed meat and vegetables. According to eyewitnesses, the conscripts' conditions are like those of a pioneer camp. In the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces captured several hundred conscripts, possibly up to a thousand, but the RF exchanged only 115. The names for exchange were approved by the Russian side. It is not known exactly on what principle this happened. Perhaps they chose those whose relatives made the most noise. The odious deputy of the State Duma of the Russian Federation, the well-known imperialist Yevgeny Fedorov, who likes to threaten the West with nuclear strikes, became sad because of the Kursk operation of the armed forces of Ukraine. He pounced with accusations on the military and propaganda who lie about the imminent liberation of Russian territories. Fedorov emphasized that the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region has not been stopped. The Ukrainian armed forces are seriously advancing in this section of the front, including towards the Kursk nuclear power plant. He called on the propaganda to stop lying to the population that the Ukrainians are about to be thrown back. If you pay attention, there is no mention of any three days of throwing NATO troops out of the Kursk region. Well, we see it. The governor announces that another 10 villages have been evacuated. Listen, if there is no offensive, why evacuate the villages? Kuchatov is closed. It is closed by a special separate decision. A special siege regime is introduced there. What does this mean? That the fighting is moving towards Kuchatov? Well, that's clear. This means that sabotage and reconnaissance groups are expected in the city of Kuchatov at the very least. This means that enemy troops are moving seriously and effectively enough for this kind of possibility of enemy ground armed units infiltrating through our combat formations to appear. It's a joke when we are told what official propaganda told us two weeks after the invasion of the Kursk region. This is evidence that the enemy is dying. This is his last spurt from the grave. This is ridiculous. Tens of millions of people have been loaded with this approach, Fedorov complained. Recall UN Nuclear Agency Chief Rafael Grossi said after visiting Russia's Kursk nuclear power plant that there was a risk of a nuclear accident and the situation was serious. The danger or possibility of a nuclear accident has emerged near here, Grassi told reporters, referring to the fact that fighting is taking place in the surrounding Kursk region. Grassi told that the plant was extremely fragile because it had no protective dome.